Welcome, hashtag Arthur Aspie with another of my series, My Arthur, My Asperger's. How to teach creativity to children. Do you want some joy in your life? Then teach children how to make artwork. Young children, before the world gets to them, are developing creativity. They seldom need incentive. Children who have had such opportunities develop a respect for imagination. Just be lively. I began teaching children pottery after graduating from art college and moving to North Queensland where I joined the local art scene. Art in the 80s was still very much a thing. Back then, computers had the power of a clock radio and mobile phones were the size of a house brick with the range of a loud shout so one had to innovate with everything. This is a homemade Raku kiln. However, children like all that creativity does not come from a free-for-all. Rather, it is the distilling of what is essential, making do with less out of a large choice of stuff. First, demonstrate basic techniques, whether drawing or using clay coils or pinching out the shape. One might show techniques, but always allow children to free model as their imaginations are running free. Art classes for children are seldom places where they do not want to be, unlike so many classrooms. So let it be noisy and fun, always be ready to roll out their clay, recognise their physical limits and make sure they are safe. These early years with children are important for self-expression. One must be interested in the unreal and for them imaginative stories that will be attached to scribbles on paper and lumpy clay fingered shapes. I am on the autism spectrum. My childhood experiences with early artwork saved me from harmful interventions. I expressed what I could not verbalise with drawings and constructions of things. I collected old bones, coloured stones, dried leaves and wire. So I understand challenges. During an early class with severely physically challenged children, I had them just squeeze clay which I stuck a hole in, fired them and made a large hanging wind chime chandelier from their collections of fired clay worms. Past the basic, truly little formal teaching is required. Otherwise, one will squeeze the life out of them. The worst experiences always came with disgruntled parents who were happy to have me babysit their children, but loudly insulted their children's work. They seldom got away with it. I can be a blunt force to be reckoned with. Set up a sequence of work practices that include safety needs, cleaning and packing away their work. Start with drawings, demonstrate yourself. If you cannot do it, then why expect them to? Show these basic techniques, explain that solid clay will probably explode in the kiln and why trapped air or water that cannot escape. Take care during glazing or choose to fire or bits of pieces and have them paint them with acrylic paint. The effects are immediate. Show off their works, organise exhibitions of the finished pieces. Their confidence will soar. Use all sorts of venues to teach from schools and exhibitions and craft organisations to celebratory fairs and expositions. Treat all children equally and fairly. Praise off and laugh a lot. It is meant to be joyful for the teacher too. Help me build my channel by liking and hitting the subscribe icon with the all notifications bell. As well, I welcome others to collaborate with, especially those that have an interest in art, adult autism and living the best lives they can with what they have. Find my email on the about page of my homepage. Thanks, it would be appreciated. Thank you for viewing. Please like, comment, subscribe and share.